Hello. What you see here and what you hear uh, talking in the background is my humble self. Uh, I was doing a video just the other day comparing Renderman version 2.1 to, to the current version of Arnold. And I was quite amazed about the difference in terms of uh, rendering time. Because uh, I think Renderman took five times longer for the same, basically the same image. And uh, let me stop that video now. Without using Render Man shaders, you can't get a proper image, Leif Peterson wrote. That's why it's puzzling. Um, because I, uh, I wrote it, uh, or, or I said it's a puzzling result because Render Man has such a high reputation. Uh, other answers here, and um, it's about physically based rendering, etc. And then uh, Paolo Cesar Duarte said, unfortunately, very superficial com comparison. You didn't apply render man materials and didn't adjust any of the render settings. Yes, I agree. And that's why I renamed that um, file here. The video is now called My Arnold vs. Render Man Unfair Comparison with Out of the Box Settings. Before that, I called it Arnold vs. Render Man Puzzling. Uh, it's still a little bit puzzling, but less than before. Well, um, out of the box is something which everybody does, really. So it's a, it's a typical thing for people who start uh, using a new render engine. They just load the plugin, they uh, load a scene which they're familiar with, and uh, then they apply that, um, that rendering algorithm to it. And uh, the amazing thing was that the results were pretty similar, but at a high cost of time for render man. And uh, the fairer uh, procedure is something else. And I don't want to do real comparisons. So all I'm going to show you today is uh, the rendering time for this image here. Uh, this is the one by one and Arnold is currently rendering it. You see it down here. And I rendered the same image already, it took one hour and nine minutes using Renderman with Renderman specific materials and a Renderman specific Skydome light. So um, this is uh, probably a little bit more fair than before. And in addition, I changed the rendering parameters for Arnold and uh, render man. Having said that, um, this is the image Arnold is currently rendering. It's sort of in the middle, it just started and it will take another 50 minutes at least, I guess. I have no idea really. What I see in the in this rendering here, the render man rendering, is that it applies certain edges uh, around the hands, for example, and the arms. And uh, you see an edge down here, which is, I think, the only mistake, the only error here in the rendering. Let's get closer again. So here is a line, which is like a cartoonish line, really, which Ar uh, Arnold does not do. Uh, in the Arnold case, you probably have little pixels here. Uh, that's quite a difference from, the, from that uh, render algorithm. But this line here is totally uh, inappropriate. Uh, you certainly don't want to have that, and I don't know why it's there. Um, it's just sitting there. Uh, you have uh, this kind of outline here at the shoes, and I think it's quite nice, really. Uh, you have it right here, and um, it's... Um, but still, it's a little bit irritating. Do I really want this harsh line here? Uh, of course I can get rid of it, but I have to get deeper into the render settings again. And uh, this is exactly what I didn't want to do. Now let's have a look at the graininess. We're currently at a resolution of 66.7%. So let's uh, go to 100%. That's the resolution which was rendered 5000 pixels wide. And I think um, Renderman did a nice job cleaning up the pixels here. It's really not irritating. This is more than good. So I'll come back to you when the Arnold rendering is finished. See you later. So Arnold finished rendering. It took an hour and a couple of minutes. So it's basically the same rendering time as with the Renderman image 
of the same size. I'll show you the render settings in a second, just let's compare the two images. They're quite different because um, the render techniques are different and because I couldn't adjust the lights properly. The sky dome light, the only light in the scene, uh, just has different intensity for both um, methods of rendering. So uh, this is the uh, Arnold rendering and this is the render man render, uh, rendering. It's actually very crisp and beautiful and clean. Uh, maybe slightly too bright here, that's as I said because of the sky dome light which I could have reduced a little bit in intensity but uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful image except especially from that distance here. Uh, the Arnold image looks very very soft also very nice but very very soft and uh, the difference is uh, quite impressive here. I could have uh, reduced the sky dome light for the Arnold this one uh, a little bit to make it darker but I don't know if that really made such a big difference in terms of contrast this is a very contrast rich image and as I showed you before we have these little lines here which are barely visible from the distance uh, which make the character stand out uh, from the from the background the uh, these lines are pretty much not existent here but on the other hand we have that uh, pr problem here with the let me get a little bit closer we have a problem here with the with this line for example not the, with these lines here and these lines here they are quite beautiful I don't, wouldn't need the lines here um, and in the Arnold image we don't have them at all so it just ends here but it's not pixelated at all it's very very clean here there's not anything of pixel noise right here whereas in the um, render man image there's a lot of uh, pixel uh, pixelization and uh, noise still existing uh, in the scene so the the images are very very different and the rendering time for both images were pretty much the same, one hour for 5000 pixels wide. And now I'll show you the render settings. This is the scene, uh, the character comes from the renderpeople.com. Uh, it's a free model, it's, I think it's called Allison. And um, the settings are as follows, you go here to the render settings. And I pumped up the camera anti-aliasing from the default of 3 to 5 here in Arnold because uh, I have diffuse samples 100 maximum. And if you switch over from Arnold to RenderMan now, if you have downloaded, installed and loaded the plugin, uh, you get under sampling uh, this number here, 120. So I gave RenderMan a little bit more to render than uh, Arnold, uh, I could have set this to 100 as well. So it, uh, but it's not a difference in terms of rendering speed, really. Now um, these are the basic quality settings here. This, as I said, is the Arnold um, file. Uh, the texture I'm using is a standard Arnold shader, and the sky dome light is the only light in the scene with a intensity of 2.4 and uh, that's basically it. I'm loading the Renderman scene now. It's a Pixar surface shader here and uh, the Pixar dome light is sitting here with an intensity of 2 and an exposure of 2 and Arnold is deeply integrated into Maya and uh, therefore uses Maya lights etc whereas Renderman doesn't and uh, uh, the Lamper shader from Maya, for example, is easy to handle for Arnold, but not so easy, but possible to handle by RenderMan. But with this, I'd like to leave things as they are. Uh, I'm waiting for RenderMan 22 for a review, temporary license here, uh, and then uh, then I show you something about uh, what is called real-time rendering. But uh, apart from that, we go back to the basic Maya. Uh, setting where we have Arnold as the standard rendering engine. Bye bye.